Hi everyone, I'm back and I have another review for you guys. It's on the BH Cosmetics Forever Glam Palette and I'm really excited to share this review with you guys so please keep on watching. Alright, so I did the Forever Nude Palette and I did a look with it and what I did here, I did not do a get ready with me but I did use everything in this palette to create the look that I'm wearing. I did not however use all the colors in the palette but I did use as much as I could alright so I'm going to swatch the eyeshadows the highlighter the blush and the lip colors and tell you what I think about them but overall this thing has an amazing package I like the packaging I like the concept if you watch again my review of the Forever Glam, um, the Forever Nude, sorry, you would have heard me say that I think that the whole concept of this is amazing. I absolutely love the concept of this. And this packaging is black. The other one is nude and so you, you wouldn't find it looks, it gets like tarnished faster than this one because this one shows up so much. However, I really like both of them because you can actually wipe it and it's still, you know, it doesn't look dirty but this in itself I just really like the packaging love the shape 5 out of 5 for packaging and then every item comes pretty compact and neat again I love the packaging alright in this case I did get a clear plastic but it's actually stuck to my mirror which I'm not complaining about so we're gonna swatch the 6 eyeshadows in it you do get and I'll show it close up the colors you do get you do get a peachy color that has um, shimmers in it. I, none of the colors here are actually matte. So they're all shimmers. Um, satin. And this one has a little glitter, bits of glitter in it. So um, it definitely, I would tell you that it, the glitter does not really transfer that much. But it, you can see glitters in it. So let's swatch the first two rows, which would be this kind of champagne like a peachy champagne color and then you have almost a really pure peach like a golden peach color and this golden peach color um, has an awesome transfer so that is the peach color there and that's the champagne color but the champagne color has a, like a slight tinge of peach in it and you can see from just these two swipes how pigmented these shadows are then they don't lack pigmentation so next we have a bronzy color and a taupe color and again these two are super 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 pigmented and we're gonna swatch them so that's a taupey color there let me see my lighting I don't want it to wash that and that's the bronze color there that's the taupe and that's the bronze and then the last two colors, which we have this almost radiant orchid color. It's more purple. Um, yeah, it's more like a iridescent kind of purple, not a radiant orchid. And then we have that blue that has shimmers in it. And you can see it's like a really like a midnight blue. And it, there is some sort of shimmers in it, but it's not crazy, crazy, crazy. So I absolutely love all, all, all of the eyeshadows that came in this kit. They all are pigmented. I have on my lid the taupe color. And in the crease, I did use this blue. And then as a transition, I used the peachy color just right above. And as my highlighter, I did use the highlight here with a combination of this kind of champagne color. So this is the look and I've been wearing it almost I think for about eight hours speaking of highlighter uh, this highlighter is super super gorgeous and it is really pigmented like wow pigmented this should have been a, like an eyeshadow because look how pigmented it is and so I am going to be using this as an eyeshadow and when I use it I use it very lightly when I started using this palette um, when I started my weekly basket when I started this week's weekly basket I used it as my only highlighter and I did a get ready with me and um, with when I was using my glam bag with the items from my glam bag and I was saying that I wasn't sure 
how I felt about it and now I am in love with it so swatching the blushes in this palette the two blushes yes that pink is bam out there it is what I'm wearing it is one swipe that's on my face and again like I said I've had on this makeup for about eight hours so it is lasting and to swatch it that's them there now lighter skin tones will like the peachy color and I'll show you the peachy color I personally do not like it because it has chunks of glitter in it like major chunks of glitter and the glitter transfers the pink is super gorgeous and I can see me doing a smoky eye and also using the pink like to you know as a transition kind of color it is really really pigmented I just don't like the peachy um, blush so what I try to do is that I tap try to tap it off and I'll swatch it below and you get less less glitter I don't know if you guys can see the bottom has less glitter so that's how I try to use it but I have really big pores and it's like the glitter is almost sinking into my pores so the only drawback with the blush is I love the pink it's super pigmented um those who are really light skin tone fair you're gonna really need to use like a slippery brush and literally just barely tap into it to get it may love the peachy color and the peachy color looks I mean it's pretty pigmented and it's gonna look good but the glitter has come on BH why did you have to put glitters in it I could have very well do without the glitters in the blush lastly we come to the lip colors and I'll swatch both of them I, I, I am wearing the red and I did wear the pink already also you can you see that pigmentation there it's like OMG so that that's the pigmentation amazing and I am wearing it and I find that it is very I mean very pigmented very soft to the touch I use my fingers to apply my finger to apply it um, you can use a brush a lip brush it sits well on the lips it does stain and I can try and wipe it off a bit so you see it does stain but you find that the wear time with it is not as long it's more glossy than lipstick but I don't mind because this color these colors are pretty bright as you can see so that you can share it out but the whole idea of the forever glam is to really go more smoky smoky <laughs> say smoky go more smoky um, be a little more bright with color and even the purple that is here still has like a class to it it's like all glammed out like you can use this bronzy color even with this blue and it's just going to look amazing I love these three colors here these are like super super amazing colors and I would definitely definitely I mean get so much use I end up using this palette quite a all in all I absolutely love this palette I prefer in terms of pigmentation and texture feel quality this palette is much has to me better quality than the nude there were the shadows in the nude some lacked pigmentation they had fallouts did not have the issue of much fallouts I think I had very light fallouts with this I don't even remember if there was so chances just maybe very minimal but the shadows were great the blushes were much more pigmented than the nude and they weren't as chalky. They, I don't think they're really chalky. They're a little chalky because the pink is matte. It's not satin. But if there is no fallout to the, you know, to even if it's like slightly chalky. However, the glitter is what I can't take. So that is like the only drawback. And the lip colors are like <gasps> amazing. I did love the lip colors in the nude palette also but this palette i definitely would give it a 4.75 out of 5. love love this if you have to get one out of the two i definitely recommend the forever glam if you like smoky eyes if you like neutral eyes because you have a row of neutrals then you have the smoky colors to so smoke it out amazing highlighter that you can use for your face and your brows on the lid inclusive 
the only drawback other than the glitters in the blush is that I wish there was a matte transition color because usually with um all looks you want a transition color you want a nice like brown soft brown kind of color just for transition I even darker skin tones can go off with like a soft brown into just like a brown transition color so that is the only drawback in this but this is an amazing palette this is going to be one of my go-to travel palettes I can guarantee you because it's definitely going to cut down how many products I have to take with me as against you know just having a bigger palette it's small compact so definitely recommend this palette definitely um think it's a great investment i absolutely love this palette i hope my review was helpful for those of you who are interested in getting this palette and i appreciate your time in watching this video if you like these kind of reviews go ahead and thumbs up and subscribe if you're not subscribed to my channel so that you can get future reviews on palettes and any item in my Alright, so thank you so much for your love and support and until my next review. Bye!